Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Excel provides two different methods for sharing workbooks. One way is to use the co-authoring features in Excel as part of an Office 365 subscription. To use co-authoring, you must also save the shared workbook to an online site like OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, or SharePoint Online. Co-authoring allows you to work on shared Excel workbooks at the same time as other users. Alternatively, you can also save and share a workbook using the Shared Workbooks feature. Doing this lets you share the workbook to either a shared local network location or online. It is also supported by older versions of Excel and users without an Office 365 subscription. However, the Shared Workbooks feature doesn't let users make changes simultaneously. Instead, each user changes a copy of the shared workbook when they open it. Changes made by other users are merged back into the original workbook after the users finish making changes to their shared workbook copy. There are, however, a few tips you should be aware of before you share a workbook. After sharing workbooks using the shared workbooks feature, you also cannot insert or change the following objects or settings until you stop sharing the workbook. A partial list of disabled features includes merged cells, conditional formatting, data validation, charts, pictures, objects, drawing objects, hyperlinks, scenarios, outlines, subtotals, data tables, pivot table reports, workbook and worksheet protection, slicers, sparklines, XML data, and macros. Therefore, insert or apply these things prior to sharing the workbook if needed. Note that this is only a partial list, and there may also be several other Excel features that are temporarily disabled until you stop sharing the workbook. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.